everyone and welcome to another episode of Radiant Central and I'm your host Natasha St. Michael and thank you so much for joining me. So today I want to show you how to make a fresh hibiscus lime tea. This is a fabulous tea and I'm going to show you how to actually make it from the actual fresh flower. Plus I'll also explain how to make it with dried hibiscus because I know most people living in North America and Europe and in colder climates obviously don't aren't able to just pick a flower off the tree and make a beautiful tea, but, um, and therefore you can <laughs> go to any health food store or I'd say any even grocery store. If it's a large chain grocery store, usually they sell hibiscus tea. It's also known as Roselle or Rosella or Sorel tea. And it usually comes in sort of dried sort of flower buds, pretty much with dried hibiscus tea is they, they dry it when the flower has not yet bloomed. So it's like little buds like this. And so it'll either come like this or it can even come in a tea bag. So you're looking for hibiscus tea. And this is what the beautiful flower looks like. This is a local hibiscus. Um, but you can find this all over the world in any kind of tropical environment. Usually they grow in different shades of red or even purple or pink and any of them can do. So here in Bali we've got a beautiful red one like this and this actually comes from my garden <laughs> which I'll show you right now. And here is our lovely hibiscus plant and I'll take you close to see them. So let's get started to make this lovely hibiscus lime tea, super yum. Plus, also, if you want the full recipe for this tea, you can go to today's blog post at radiantcentral.com slash blog, and all the measurements and, and ingredients for the tea will be listed there, plus also some photographs as well. And at the end of the video, I will share some of the health benefits of drinking hibiscus tea regularly. So let's make the tea now. So what you're gonna need is either a fresh hibiscus flower, one that has been cut immediately or that day they wilt pretty quickly, so you need to use it immediately. That, or you can get dried hibiscus. So this is what the dried hibiscus flower looks like. And it's either sold in a package, or it could even be sold in tea bag. And you'll need some sort of sweetener. Here we're using honey. And I would say you can use maybe a teaspoon of honey, or two teaspoons, or if you like it super sweet, use a tablespoon of honey. And you'll need a little bit of lime. I would say a small wedge of lime and hot water and a glass and if you're using the fresh hibiscus flower you'll need some scissors so I'll show you how to take the stem and off and also the stem. Alright so let's get started. If you're using a fresh hibiscus flower you're going to want to remove the, the stem in. so it's this part here you're going to remove it with a scissor just cut it close in the inside right over here so we just remove that and we discard that and then you're going to also want to remove the stem so you're just going to cut it right over here and remove it and now it's ready to make the tea. All you're going to do is put the hibiscus flower into the glass or into the, the tea mug and then you're just going to pour hot water over it Okay, and you're going to let it sit for just a few minutes. So here's the hibiscus tea after it's been steeping I would say for a good five, five to eight minutes and as you can see kind of close up that the pigment from the flower has dissolved into the water. It's quite beautiful and if you were to have dried hibiscus you would do the same thing that you would just get either a large cup or mug or teapot and fill it up with hot water and steep the dried flowers. I would use at least maybe two or three of the flowers within a mug or a teapot and steep it maybe for 10 minutes just because with sort of dried flowers and stuff it takes a little bit longer for everything to dissolve into the water. And so you would just do the same process and then you would remove the flower from the water and here's the little magic trick. So you see that the water is kind of purple. But if you add a little bit of lime, which gives it a nice taste, a nice little added taste to it, you will see a little magic happen and children love this. Okay, so as you're adding in the lime, suddenly <laughs> everything turns bright pink. And so if you, you stir it around, you got a pink 
beverage. Kids love this. <laughs> and so there you got the lime. And then you can also add in your sweetener. And so here we're gonna add in a teaspoon of raw honey. The hibiscus tea itself is quite astringent. And so it's nice to have some sort of sweetener in it. But you can always have it as is. And there you go, ready to drink. So here is our beautiful pink lime hibiscus tea. And we're gonna try it. Super yum. I recommend if you're having this in a hot tropical environment like I am, to have it on ice. It is a great iced tea. And if you're in a cold environment like in the winter, it's great to curl up and have this as a mid-afternoon tea. This is also what I would recommend is actually using the hibiscus tea in your smoothies. Instead of using water or juice in a smoothie, add in hibiscus tea. Just skip the sweetener and the lime and just steep the flowers, cool it, and then add it into your smoothie. One thing that's great about hibiscus and what it's known for is it's known to actually help to lower people's blood pressure. So if someone has high blood pressure, I would suggest having at least one or maybe two cups of hibiscus tea a day. I would Definitely though, skip out on any sweetener in the tea. Just have the plain hibiscus tea or add a little bit of lime to it, but no sweetener if you've got high blood pressure. For those that have regular normal blood pressure, it's fine to drink. It's not gonna make your, your, your blood pressure levels plummet or, or get low. It's just for those that have high blood pressure, it's known to help bring it down. And also, the hibiscus tea is great for your circulation. It's great as an antioxidant. It's great as an anti-inflammatory for the body. It's got many, many health properties to it, and it's just a great tonic. So this is something you can definitely add into your daily diet. The only people that I would recommend sort of staying away from drinking hibiscus tea would be those that are pregnant and those that have very, very low blood pressure. So if you got super low blood pressure, I would avoid the hibiscus tea because it can make it even lower. <laughs> so yeah, so do try it out. And, and definitely, um, if you cannot get the fresh flower, try the dried flower. And a lot of times too is sometimes, depending where the hibiscus comes from, sometimes it will make the water a nice purple color or a nice pink or red color. Sometimes it doesn't. So don't get freaked out if the water is just a plain color after steeping it, especially if it's been dried. That's just the variety that you're using. And, and yeah, try it out. And if you ever can try the f actual fresh hibiscus tea, definitely do so. All right, so I'm wishing you guys a super fabulous day. And to get the full recipe, go to my website at radiantcentral.com slash blog, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.